Okay guys, so today we're working on our HP laptop that was apparently chucked in the river. So we'll be upgrading the hard drive in it. Um, just before we get started, I'd, I'd like some feedback on the new studio. Uh, this is a bigger studio and the camera is on a different angle. If you guys like it, please let me know. Uh, just because I need to have some feedback on how to improve the set and all that stuff. So we'll get into the actual mod. So what we'll need uh, for this HP laptop uh, in particular um, it's not actually that much. We need one Phillips head screwdriver, which can be taken care of by this bad boy here. This is the PHO uh, by 40mm. So, this laptop, like all laptops, you're going to start off by pulling out the battery because electrocuting yourself means no more mods in the future. Next, most computers will have like little screws around to take off the bottom. This laptop's awesome. You pull and you push and the bottom comes off. Simple as that. Um, while you're at it, you might as well give your computer a bit of a clean, you know? Keep it tidy. Now, before we take off the hard drive, we know the hard drive is here because there's a little instruction type manual thingy here. Uh, we've got our RAM CPU there with little notches and cool everything in the computer. It's epic. So, Start off by undoing all four screws because you just have to. Um, I'd recommend a cross pattern, even though this isn't really a, a part of the computer that is very high torque, high pressure um, device. And it just has to start raining on the roof of the studio, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got that off. We can see the drive here. We can lift it out made by Foxconn, haven't seen them for a while, and it looks like there is no adaption plate needed uh, to actually get it in. Some computers will have a bit of a plate, and this is pretty standard upgrade. This is a 120 gig and this is a 80 gig, so, you know, uh, upgrading it should be as simple as one, two, and then we'll put the top on for the third step. So. All in all, a hard drive upgrade is a good idea, but make sure before you do it, you um, transfer all your files over. I highly recommend using the Samsung program, the Samsung disk, uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember, but the words on the screen there. Um, make sure you use something like that or another data kind of uh, copy, um, because you will lose all your data if it's just sort of here. Well, it won't be lost, but it'll just be on this drive. So we'll pop the uh, top back, pop the back back on, or the top or bottom or whatever you want to call it. Chuck the battery in, flip it over, boot it up. So thank you for checking out this episode of CPU Modder. We'll see you guys for another episode next time.